So today Rocky and I are on the farm and he is going to be transplanting sweet pepper seedlings and we're going to be showing you how he goes about doing that and then right after that we will be harvesting some sweet peppers. So stick around for the next round. How to transplant sweet pepper seedlings. These are the sweet pepper seedlings or suckers and they're going to be removed from the tree and transplanted into mainland which is the soil but first the soil has to be softened with a machete. Then the seedlings are removed from the tree by using one hand to squeeze the bottom of the tree and the other hand to hold the base of the sucker and then you know you gently pull on it and then the seedlings are transplanted two to three inches into the soil and you use your hand to press on the soil around it. Sometimes however when pulling the sucker out from the cube you can end up pulling out the sucker without the soil just like what Rocky has done and if that happens all you need to do is just Go ahead and embed it into mainland and press around the soil. And I forgot to mention earlier guys that the reason why we are pressing around the soil is just to keep the roots secure in the soil so that the sweet pepper seedlings will continue to thrive. Another thing, um, it's best if the sweet pepper seedlings are planted about two feet away from each other and the reason is to allow them to have enough space to grow and to utilize the land space effectively. You know, you don't want to waste the land. So maturity depends on several factors, such as the sweet pepper variety, for example, you know, the soil type, whether or not it's organically grown and how well they are cared for. But under normal circumstances, most sweet peppers take between 60 to 90 days to reach maturity and that would be the days after transplanting until the plant produces full size fruits. The green and red sweet peppers come from the same sweet pepper and this is true for the yellow ones but it's just that the red and yellow ones have been allowed to stay on the plants longer hence the color change and the longer they stay on the plants the sweeter they become and the greater the vitamin c content as well some of the plants are not looking lush the reason is because we've been experiencing a period of drought so there is an issue with us being unable to water all the plants all the time but it still hasn't affected the quality of the sweet pepper fruits and the soil type has a lot of rocks but it still does not affect the yield fortunately so rocky is now watering the crop and as soon as he's done we will be reaping some of the fruits Harvesting sweet peppers. So guys, if you like this video, please drop a like and a comment. And if you would like to see more videos like these in the future, 
And please click on the link right here so that you can subscribe to my channel. And guys, please remember to turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye guys.